why we shouldn't ban money. I know there's a lot of people who would like to advocate a kind of utopian communism or socialism in which people do not, there's no money and people work as they see fit based on their skills and interests and everyone's needs are provided. People who want to be farmers be farmers, people who want to be shopkeepers do that and manage, manage supplies and whatever you want to need you just go and get. So you need food you just go and get, pick it up with a bag. If you want a new table just go and get it. There's no money exchanging hands. That and I think uh, some people who watch Star Trek and Next Generation I think that was supposed to be the utopian that's what was foreseen. I think you can even Arthur C. Clarke foresaw that as the future. There would be no money. And um, even uh, uh, left, what's called left libertarianism advocates for the same kind of thing. Libertarianism tends to be a minarchist society in which usually the state is small and provides only uh, military courts and police. And that's it. Nothing else. Left libertarianism is in the same way, and the main tenet of libertarianism is that it does not use force. That if you are uh, the mark of a civilization, actually, is that it uses force the least, the least circumstances. The left libertarian, though, uses a moral argument, not a legal argument. They don't say that we should share the wealth legally because that would use that would use force, just like an income tax, for example, requires the use of force. That for the libertarian is is uncivilized. A left wing or the left libertarian would say that you have a moral obligation to share, and so in a sense you could uh, get rid of money in a, under a left libertarian system. But I think that actually would be bad because money provides a kind of information. It suggests where efforts are productive and unproductive. Now I should be careful. I'm not suggesting that everyone who is rich today is productive or deserved money the money they have. Um, some people who have a lot of money uh, obtain that money either illegally or immorally. Uh, what money does though that under a communist system would not is that money provides information, it provides signals of what is demanded at certain times. How do we know that we should have loggers clearing forests for wood. And we don't know what the demand for wood is because we don't have any price mechanisms. And is the supply enough? Is the consumption of wood enough of a marker of its demand? Because these resources have alternative uses. How do we know that we should make a ton of tables with this wood as opposed to a ton of chairs or something else? We don't know until the demand hits us. And when the demand hits us, it's often too late. So if I show up to a store, they don't have any tables, I get annoyed, and I maybe, if I don't really need a table, it was really just a luxury for me, I may just not bother with a table for a week. That kind of thing can happen. While at the same time, the, uh, the, t the table manufacturer has just built 10 tables and is sitting on it, waiting for it to be used up. But I'm not going to get it because I'm annoyed right now, right? You get these supply problems. But if you have money exchanging hands, then the profit made on certain items is a signal to make more of that. For example, iPhones are very expensive phones, but it's signaling that people will pay for them. Whether the phones are that practical and useful, or whether the phones are a kind of hipster slash, like you're in style, so you pay a premium so you can say, oh, look, I have an iPhone, that kind of thing. Whatever people will do is people, do, people pay, for, for, uh, pay extra for dumb things so that that works and people will do it. Whatever that might be, that profit that uh, Apple makes is a signal to make more of those, to fill those orders because they're, they're demanded so highly. Without that cash, without that money, without that price, how would Max know, how would Apple know to make more of those things? It's a problem. But that cash is an incentive, not only, not only a signal to make more, 
but the extra profit is often used to increase production. It's an accelerator, it's a catalyst, that profit, to make more, more and more, not just more, not just more to fill the order, but we should make more per second kind of thing. That's what that profit does. And that wouldn't have been the case in a an economy without price. Because some people, like I mentioned before, they believe in a Star Trek universe in which we don't need any money at all, and therefore we don't need any profits at all. But that's a mistake. And without money, we would lose the information it conveys. 